Hi dreamers, it's Langley and I'm back again with some yoga. You can flap your legs a little bit like the wings of a butterfly. Where are you going to fly to? My dog Roxy's here to join me, but I don't think she's going to move with us today. Now today is our community connection. So we can think about community in the same way that we can think about our ecosystem. Humans and plants and animals all work together to help each other out and live on the planet together. So today I thought for yoga, maybe we could do some animal themed yoga so that we can help feel a little bit more connected to the animals that are either close to us, like our pets, or further away. So to start, just like we did last time, let's find some comfortable clothes, a mat that we can roll out, some space in our house or outside that we can move around in, and let's get started. We're gonna start by finding one of my favorite poses, a butterfly pose. We're gonna bring the bottom of our feet together we're gonna sit up nice and tall and you can hold onto your ankles if you'd like. From here, if you want to, you can flap your legs a little bit like the wings of a butterfly. Where are you gonna to fly to? Let's take a stretch over to the side. We're gonna bring our left arm over to the right side, stretching out our whole side body. Reach your arms over. Let's come over to the left side with our right arm. We're gonna stretch over to the left side. Do that one more time. We're gonna go over to the right side. Feel a little bit like an animal that's just waking up. And we're gonna go over to the left side. Let's roll forward and stretch our arms out straight. Roll up slowly. Now, let's find all four in what's called a tabletop position. From here, we're gonna stretch our back a little bit and we're gonna find cow pose. Cow pose, you're gonna let your belly drop down to the floor and you're gonna look up to the ceiling. Let's round through and zip our belly up and find cat pose. Drop our belly down again and find cow pose again. Find cat pose one more time. Meow. We're gonna tuck our toes and find downward facing dog. I think this is Roxy's favorite pose. She does this every morning. Dropping your heels down to the floor, you can go one at a time to stretch out the back of your legs. From here, let's stretch out into our plank pose. Then let's drop our knees and our chest and our chin and stretch up into an upward facing dog. From here, you can go into a child's pose, stretching your fingers out straight or you can join me in another downward facing dog. Stretching our heels all the way down. I'm gonna bring my right foot up into a three-legged dog. Let's roll through and bring our right foot forward into a lunge. You can stay here or you can drop your left knee and meet me in lizard pose. Lizard pose, we're gonna drop our elbows down. Stretch like a lizard. Have you ever seen a lizard? I saw one in my backyard the other day. Let's bring our hands up and find downward facing dog one more time. Let's bring our left foot up into a three-legged dog. Bring our left foot all the way forward again. You can stay here in a runner's lunge, or you can drop your right knee and bring your forearms down to the ground in lizard pose. Let's come back up. Go through downward facing dog. Let's walk our hands back. 
stretch over and roll up slowly. I'm gonna find a horse pose. Horse pose, we're gonna have our feet slightly turned out to either side. We're gonna sink down almost like we're riding a horse. Now, you can stay here or you can bring your arms down and we're gonna push our left shoulder forward. Twist through and bring our right shoulder forward. Let's roll up slowly and bring our feet, walk our feet together. Now, we're gonna start by doing a tree pose. We're gonna do some balances. Trees are where lots of animals live. So in a tree pose, you're gonna start by either bringing your foot to your ankle or you can bring your foot all the way up to your thigh. You can either pose Balance with your hands here in prayer, or we can reach our arms all the way up to the sky, like limbs of a tree. That's okay if you wobble a little bit, we're all practicing together. Let's bring our right foot down and let's do the same on the left side. We can bring our hands into prayer, or we can stretch all the way up to the sky. Bring our left foot down. In our last balance, we're gonna do what's called eagle pose. Now in eagle pose, we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna wrap it around our left foot. Now you can either stay here, or you can take it and hook it all the way around the other side. We're then gonna wrap our right hand under our left and clasp them together here, almost like a pretzel. But in yoga, it's called eagle pose. We can sink back and bend both of our knees and we're gonna balance. Let's slowly stand up and find the other side. We're gonna take our left foot around our right leg and hook it around. We're gonna take our left arm underneath our right and clasp them together. Again, it's okay if we wiggle a little bit. We're working on our balance. Good job, now let's stand together. How do you feel? I feel a little warmer and a little looser. I feel like I'm ready to go outside and on adventure to see what animals might live in my neighborhood. Roxy still looks sleepy. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you had fun in our community connection. I hope that you feel a little bit closer to the animals that live all around us. Bye, dreamers. <laughs>